About a man who loves Biafra. I wanna talk about a man who is a hero. I wanna talk about a man who has Biafra at heart. Nandi Kano, Nandi Kano, I can see you. You are a god friend. Nandi Kano, you are a hero to our world. You made us a step. You are a great man. You did a great work. You made a full speech. You are a great man. A double keep Nam the you are the one. You read history like a man. 
Now they can't know you are the one. You go kiss tree like a man. Now they can't know you are the one we are talking about. You are the hero, the hero of our land. You made us to understand the history of the world. You made us to understand you are the I want to know you, you are a strong man. I want to know you, you are a strong man. One last one over all, one last one all over the world. Yeah, from man, the lion who is in the Zion, now the Carlo, you are the one. When I hear your voice, it makes me stronger. Yeah. When I hear your voice, I see the enemies trembling. Yeah. When I hear your voice, I see the platform stronger. The people in the Zion, everybody raise their hands for the hero. You are a good sense to learn about. You set the trap to forgive. You set the trap, you had emotion. You rise your voice. Yeah, you say it so strong. Right. When you speak up loud, the outside is confused. The Yoruba man is confused. The soul is in confusion. You wear a true be a friend, friend. When I look at you, I see the people do. I'm the devil. I see the spirit of death in you. Move on, move on, move on. We are right. We are in your left and your right and your back and your front. We are with you, a brother. Cause you make us stronger. Have you seen a Biafra? The true son of Biafra. He is a true hero. Speaking to all the nations. America stood up. Europe stood up. Asia stood up. Africa, they are standing. Everybody is standing for one man. A man, a man, a man of true passion. No more challenge, no more debate, with fat and fickle, they are destroyed, I can see the hours a man cannot stand again, I can see the Yoruba man he cannot stand again, he separated the seed from the chaff, Nam the canoe, you are the one. I be obi, they salute you. We salute a hero. We salute a hero. The Afro strong for world. It is time for our freedom. I said, This is our season. This is our time. Freedom, freedom, freedom to be Afro. Freedom, freedom, freedom. Yes, once again, fellow Bia France, from Igidi, from Iyala, from Iduma, from Ibu, from Ejo, from Urubu, from Ishekiri. From Akwa Ebomi Bibiu Efi Kenanam, from Ugbubura, from Akampa, from Ugebu, from Tinapa, from Calabar. 
a car be a france wherever you are across the globe this is your season this is your platform you are the reason why we are here but then i will say good morning good afternoon good evening and to some of you good night depending on your time zone this is radio biafra extra and we are biafras we are streaming live through radio biafra london being anchored by the deputy leader of the indigenous people of biafra his name is Masi Uche Uka from Efo. He is from Abatiti. Abatiti is from Anambra. And Anambra State is Biafra land. He simply said, as far as this platform is concerned, I will never allow this platform to see corruption. And this is a puzzle. Even in a hundred lifetime, Nigerian government or Nigerian people will not be able to undo that declaration. Mazi Chuka from F4 is standing on a deputizing capacity on behalf of our Supreme Leader. It's almost six decades now. Nobody can stand up to defend the Biafran people, to speak for the collective interest of the Biafran people. Nobody. Only him. Mazen Nandekano. And so when we love them, when we stand by them, when we ask them to go for us, you think it's about blackmailing? You think it's about undermining the people of Biafra? You think it's about bribing and corruption? Do you know why we are here in the first place? Mazen and the Kano remain our supreme leader. Let me digress a little bit. It has always been issue with the blacks. Of course, not all the blacks. Blacks in Nigeria. Primitives. They, they, they speak English. They judge you by your English. The guy is not educated. What did he study in school? This is how they judge you. Is he a lawyer? Is he an engineer? Is he a pilot? What, what did he study in school? They be shaking their tail. Like a dog that has not seen the master for a long time. But that is your cup of tea. Drink it. It's all yours. Because the last time I checked, they deceive you. You were deceived, but you never know. Maybe you will know now. Nobody can stand up and say, oh, this is how it's going to... Nobody until Mazen and the Kano came. And there are people who are broadcasting everywhere. Igodomi Godo, Agadami Gada, Okotomi Koto, Otoroboti. Very soon, I will start, we tell you that they are Biafras. And you are going to send them money. They are mad people. You can't see behind the sun. Wake up. My people say, mechanic, no let them know who mad people really be. On I know let us know people where we they deliver and people where we're supposed to drown. On I know let us know. And by the grace, special grace of Chuku I am George Onyebe. I'm from Abo. Abo is in Delta State. Delta State is Biafra land. And I serve the indigenous people of Biafra in the capacity of the African rep and the Nigerian International Coordinator. I will not proceed until I acknowledge the Almighty Creator, Chuku Kika Biyama, Chuku Kika Biyama. We want to tell me God, tell me Chuku Kika Biyama, because the name of my Creator is Chuku Kika Biyama. His name is not God. Can't you get it? The day I see you, Yibo man, answer Chuku man. The day I see Indian man, answer Chinasa, Indian woman, or Indian man, answer Chinasa. Yes, the day I see American man, Caucasian man, and Satamono, and then I begin to rephrase my word. But for today, his name is not God. I do not serve no God. I serve Chuku Kikabiyama. If for any time or any reason, at any point in time, I, out of my subconscious mind, speak and say, God, be a witness. I'm really saying Chuku Kikabiyama for the avoidance of doubt. He's a guy the matter both great and small. It becomes the primordial influence that drives us in every matter. Wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, he remains the primordial influence. He's the one who has set our feet upon this path that we must follow. And as such, I acknowledge him. But I will change my pattern this morning a little bit. I got that budget is on Woku Bioma, Uli Lanyan, Kendin So, 
Ai yeri roku na yeri roku. Oge ne kange jitu rugi yege na u. Aga maku isala yege na mu. Ibuchi. Ibuchi mu ni ibuchi. Ibuchi anyanja huzoi. Agada bajiri zongu kupyo mau Uli la nyanke ndi biafra u Anjiri riroko na njira baroko Ogeni kange jiturugi yege na u Agama kuisala yege na u Nibuchi Chuku uide mau Jihova hide ma Uli la nyande so Edema, o ma kan se bi wale ni edema, ezi chi ne ke mo, na li e ke le he, mbe ni ne, anya le le bi afra le ho, na li e ke le ho, mbe ni ne, e ma na se na ni ne me ma ho, ezi ma se na ne na gwori ya ho, Dadi masina nini nyike u chimu Mwe pia roburu e juku Imana asena nini nyike u chimu Asena nina gworia u Ubinigwe asena nini nema u Eze Mwe pia roburu e juku Chukwe dema E E dema Aba waba we E E dema Ulila nyandi biafra E E dema Chimbo Unyengwe Me E dema u E mana ibende la nyani nigwe Dadio E ba hon E na chachi o E mana ibende la nyani nigwe Dadio E ba hon E na chachi o E mana ibende la nyani nigwe Dadio Chimbo Unyengwe E dema Anye na jake mau Nezi oku ne marama e E hona nya e ne nage Upyo make Ujuru anya nya Dadi mu Ingwe gimba ngwe o Odi u nye di kage Ibo wafano omega Anye ni ne Na sena E de ma Wherever you are I'm just waking up. On normal days, I worship him. Not to show you I'm religious because I'm not religious. Not to pretend I love God because I don't need to. But it is embedded in my DNA. We can't go on without acknowledging him. Don't make any mistake about it. And so I would say those of you going to bed, as you sleep, sweet dreams. Those of you waking up, as you walk about, you will see good. And those of you already in the daytime, I will say he will continue to protect and to shield you. This is Radio Biafra Isra, and we must move ahead to our topic this morning. Our topic this morning is simple. Behind the sin. Because I titled it Behind the Sin. And I could only pray that the almighty creator Chuko Kikabiyama will open your eye to be able to behold the wondrous truth coming from his word, Radio Biafra. Most of you will not appreciate it today, but a generation and a time to come, your children will actually question you. Behind the scene. You see, when you watch a television movie on the cinema, it's all good. You will never know how much mistake that has occurred during the production. Behind the scene. The easiest way to explain it to you is let's use a, 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 a film, film industry. When you go to the cinema house to watch a film and they are playing out the script that have been uttered already, it all looks perfect. You're just sitting there in front of the cinema hall and you're watching the film. Maybe it is a, a Biafran Civil War film. Maybe it's a Kadankutu or Kutunkutu. What is the name of this? It could be Black Panther. You know, let me promote Black Panther. African-owned movie. Black-owned movie. I won't mention any other movie. Let's assume you are watching Black Panther. 
Nobody have monopoly over tribalism. Nobody. In fact, for example, you are watching Black Panther. You see that guy, he looks like he's Superman. He flies. He now landed. He now moves left and right and right and left. And he, he, you know, there are a lot of things you need to learn from that Black Panther. I understand that films were made to uncover, I mean, cover secrets for the blacks. But only blacks who are reasoning understand that there are coded information in every movie you watch coming from your so called world power. There is no fight that they did not put against Black Panther to destroy it. Because Black Panther became the first movie to project the black image in a glorified pattern. Because before Black Panther, the only position black people had is either they are drunkard, they are dr drug barren, they are the kind that betrays their own. Black people have been projected through the movie as safe. Stupid, hopeless, animal, nonsense people, they project you as safe. When they look for, oh, who is going to act a rapist? The best figure is black man. Oh, who is going to act a kidnapper? The best figure is black man. No, who is going to act a uh, evil, bad man? It's black man. Without Black Panther, no movie has ever put the black in a light that can be appreciated. Have you ever wondered? Almost all the heroes in cartoon movie or real movie, all of them are white, colored. Did I say colored? Wake up. That is why watch India. India are reduplicating their own. They have Indian Superman, you have American Superman. You have Indian Spider-Man, you have American Spider-Man. They are rebuilding it. But you know what our people are doing in Nollywood in Nigeria? The only thing they can add is rituals. They are dropping up and taking their acting movie. You are degrading the people of Biafra. Go to Nigeria movie industry. If they are not stealing pine to make money, in fact, they even make mockery of IPOB, but they will answer for it one day. They say, Oh, uh, we are IPOB, we are running, we, we are doing this. You. The only movie Africa can art is money ritual, ritual money. But I've never seen these people, fake pastors, and they undermine their culture in their movie. And it controls your mentality. They will tell you, when you are in abroad, don't send your money back to Nigeria because they will kill you before you come. Most of you in diaspora, that is why you cannot send money to develop your people. Because you believe that uh, somebody is going to kill you, your grandmama, your Yoruba pastor, of course, is helping you. Look behind the scene and wake up, my brother. You see my sister I'm talking to. Wake up. Today, this morning, I said, our topic is simply behind the scene. You are not seeing them. Then now one begins to wonder, when American art theme, you see Superman, the man of steel. Next one is uh, Captain America, very good, incredible Hulk, all of them are Yibu. But look, outside Black Panther, look at, look at every theme. You are a drug addict, you are a thug, you are a picking pocket. You are a black man, you are just very useless. Chinese people do not humble themselves. Let me tell you how worst or how honorable it can be. There is a, a movie uh, director and an actor also known as, is it Jack and Chan or Jack and Chan? But whatever it is anyway. He's supposed to be an American. In America, there is a place they call, is it Francusa, If I pronounce it correctly. This is a Chinese community in America. So somebody should embolse me, the, the, the black community in America. And they called Jack and Chan or Jack and Chan. I say, you have been hurting your film behaving like you're America. We left you in America for a purpose. You better stop speaking English in America movie. Speak uh, your language. Jack and Chan oblige and concord. Go and watch most of the film of Jack and Chan towards the end of his life. He never used English any longer. And so when he's acting his film, he will not do chan 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 don't laugh because I'm not making you laugh. I want you to see how hopeless you are. Don't laugh. Who is making you to laugh? Have you feel my pain? Have you feel our bitterness? Have you seen our anger? Have you tried to test our resolve? Have you seen what we are going through on daily basis? But he obliged. He was rich, powerful. He could have torn down and neglected destruction from his country. But he never. From that day to today, he refused to act any fame speaking English. 
America should take him to court. Well, of course, you are you are a black monkey. You are telling me his English is not Polish. He should have polished it. Call our salmon to polish it. I don't know the one polishing your shoe. Send our salmon. Let him come and polish my 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 English. Ndiara. The only fame that projects the condition of the black chimpanzees, Homo sapiens, is Black Panther. When that film was manufactured, I watched criticism against that film. Most of white people were paranoid. They were never happy. For the first time, we have a black hero, the Black Panther. Many people came on the media, condemned it. But now let me tell you what interests me in that movie. He said, said of me to betray my people. Then bury me in the bottom of the ocean. And that reminds me about Igbo landing. Igbo, Igbo landing in America. Igbo, Igbo landing. It reminds me, we rather perish. We rather die. We rather be buried with our ancestors in the bottom of the ocean than to let you have you. Forget about all this thing I was doing. They are jumping up and down. Yoruba are doing. Uh, if you were uh, one Nigeria, uh, Britain is jumping up and down. We will cross them. We will mechanize them. Their submarine is by the coastal region. Forget about them. We will rather be buried in the bottom of the ocean with our ancestors than to continue living this way. And then somewhere along the line, they told us there will be a, rever a, a resurrection day. And then we will address that stupidity on that day than to live this way. Behind the sin is a topic. Only when you go back behind the sin that you will understand that not all that glitters is good. Now listen very carefully. Try and look for the making of every film you watch. The best way I can explain or express myself or explain this to you is the, 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 the pattern, the projection, the icon I have chosen. Go back to every film and look at the making. There is a film, they call it uh, S-Men. One of the S-Men, S-Men origin, when they shot that film, most of the things they did, uh, I, I, I had a video clip that reviewed all the secrets. So when that Wolverine jumped from one pipeline to another pipeline, it was rope that is carrying him. In one of those films, they were not able to clean, properly edit the rope that was carrying Wolverine to fly from one container to another, from one, you know, when firewood want to kill Wolverine, it is toy that is there, you know, uh, visual image, the perfect it. But what am I trying to say in effect? If you do not go behind the scene, you will never know how many mistakes they made. Let me come back to Chak and Chan or Jack and Chan. Many times in Arrow of God, or did I say Arrow of God? The ghost must be crazy. Many of his fame. He jumped down from a helicopter on top of parachute. You think he jumped, actually jumped there. Some of them, he mistake the target. He falls, breaks spinal cord, break his bone, and then they pause the fame. And maybe after some years he recover then the film continue go and ask mission impossible what is his name of this guy they call him data but i don't know his real name he took a lot of storm risk go and ask commando most of them sustain injury that would have taken their life but they pause the film take care of them and they start and so when you are watching a film acted almost in three years in a clip in less than two hours Oh, they are hero, they are hero. Go to beyond this sin. You will understand what went through. I'm just bringing all this thing up for you can be able to appreciate where we are going to this morning. Somebody once said to me, we should be looking into the bigger picture in every event. But I knew that person was wrong. That person was ignorant. That person was naive. Because in life, that which is valuable is not kept in the open but it is being hidden, even the word of God. Most of you do not know that even the Bible you read, read today, there are many countries that fought to make sure you do not have access to the Bible as a black man today. Now look at behind the scene. Today now you have St. Bottles and Oguguru translation, Yoruba transmitter. Did I say transmitter? How do they call it? Trans. If you are writing a book, how do they call it? Why grammar they run from me? Anyway, maybe uh, Chuko Kikabema don't want me to acknowledge them. King James Version. 
American version, NIV. Saudi Arabia version. Ritualist version. Indian and Yama version. There are different versions today that they are all even writing against themselves. This is Bible for you. But there were a time that we were told, I witnessed that error. We don't read Bible. As a child, my parents have Bible. I can tell you that for more than 50 years, as far as I can remember, until this new era, my parents never opened their Bible. My father's Bible was her secret. They keep it somewhere around the room where you have typhoid fever. They will now bring the Bible and chuck it under your bed so that it will pursue demon. Hmm? I wonder how many people that have died because they want this so-called Bible now to pursue demon. My father's Bible is very new. Only when you are sick, that is when you see it. Or when you steal money, they will now put key at the middle. Now put your hand. If not me thief this money, Bible rotate. If no be me thief, Bible no rotate. These were the errors of stupidity. But you, most of you will not understand what I'm saying, but I, I do not expect you anyway, but we must proceed. And I remember as a child, I opened the Bible to read, and my mother saw me. He said, don't read it, don't read it, don't read it. You will go mad, you will go mad. And I closed it. Boom. I said, Mama, why will I go mad by reading a book? He said, No, only cat kiss, only my servant, only Reverend Father can read the Bible. My son don't open it. I work very hard to be a man servant in our book. Catholic church in our book. There is nothing I did not do to be. A. Of course, my mother had Holy Communion, Confirmation, and the rest of it. My mother is a pure Catholic, even more Catholic than the Pope. But no matter how much I try, I couldn't be a mass server because I just wanted to read the Bible. But today now, go everywhere. Even Church of Satan has is writing Bible for you. Even a mom in Saudi Arabia is giving you a version of Bible. Are you accepting it? Look behind the sin. Look behind the sin. You won't understand this truth. I just have a simple message. But I'm creating a scenario to help you understand where we are going to. Will you go behind the sin? You will see a lot of things have been hidden. Somebody once told me. He said, you see, as, as far as I'm concerned, when I'm looking at any event, I'm actually looking at the, 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 the main picture, the bigger picture. And this person is supposed to be very intelligent, very wise. He's even a leader. I look at the person. I say, now I know. Now I know why blacks will never be regarded. Now I know why many Biafran intellectuals will only answer that name, but they are not relevant. Are you kidding me? Are you telling me that you're looking at the bigger picture? Then everybody will know the truth. And I responded to the person and I said, George Onyibe don't look at the big picture. I look at the minute picture. Those little, little information that don't mean. I have been privileged to meet with what do we call them in nigeria big men i've associated with so many big men before now i've associated with many of them even the wiki of river state and part of the people that designed the family house of wiki i worked for chibuka amechi i worked for alessuti i worked for jizokalo i worked for tud 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 audio or whatever I work for their parents. I work many places in Iberi. I, George Onibe, design it. I work for Peter Dele. I work for many of them. I know how they operate. I won't begin to mention their name anymore, but I want to make you get my message clear. There is one of them I went to his house. When you get to the sitting room, you just see some little, little leather chair or uh, Asian chair or whatever. You see them at their sitting room. Nothing more, nothing less. You can go through the whole of their house. You will not see anything that will make you to come back to rob them. But with time, I soon discovered that most of them, their sitting room is inside the ceiling. Inside ceiling. You will enter a house like this. You will not see anything. You will be sitting down. Or God will come down from ceiling. But of course, I'm not a civil engineer, but I'm very good in uh, architectural design anyway. I, I, I won't tell you because I won't invade their privacy. Until they give me reason. That is why when they are playing ninja man, they think we don't know. Go and look for me if you are listening. I'm George Onibe. You can't stop me. I know what you do. 
It's not my power, but the power of God. But I want people to see behind the scene. Most of these people, why they rake and the ginger is because their bedroom is inside ceiling. It's designed in such a way that, oh, you know, this house is fine. Oh, they call the roof, send down the rain. That is their bedroom. They are not in that house. But that is by the way. I've seen many of them configure their room. You will never know where they are. But what I normally do when design becomes complicated is I give you my design and I run for my life. Because sometimes those who made the design, they kill them at the end of the day. So nobody can assess their house. So when you are playing invincible, we know who draw your house. We know your exit point. We know your hiding point. I'm talking about here in Nigeria. So stop fooling yourself. That is what is known as behind the scene. Now, why did I bring this issue up? There is a house I went to. And this man made a portrait of a family picture. Very wonderful family picture. Lovely family, I should say. This man has two sons and three daughters. The wife and the husband makes them seven. They appear in the family portrait, designed naturally by an artist. And I start staring at this picture. Because this is something that draws attention in the whole of the... It looks as the only important thing in that house. And as I was looking at that picture, I saw key. I saw code numbers. I knew that was not a frame. That was an exit to the other grand house in that building. And the man is a good man. I think he's from Calabari. I worked with him for a while. And that is when I knew the power of money. When they are calling money, it looks like a piece of paper. You just call him, oh God, this uh, flower is a uh, 20 billion US dollar. It's a last price. You say, oh God, that is the price. They just press their Android phone. Tum, 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 tum. 20 billion is gone. That is when I knew that black Nigerians will die miserably. I was we do Kwandem Oroba and Bambi Alagimi Kobo. Yoruba will do car wash and Oshudi Oshudi Abu all the rest of their life. Bia France will labor and Ujikiri for the rest of their life. The lack of Asari will collect change and be jumping up and out and warlord and warlord. And then those who are stranded in Germany or other part of the world will be do, behaving like a freedom fighter on Facebook. Go and look at all those people who are in diaspora and doing video. They are doing video, so you think they are Biafra. They are trying to deceive Uyibo. Uyibo, don't let them deceive you. German, don't let them deceive you. Anywhere you see any black man doing uh, freedom fighting from diaspora, Watch that person if he has his document. If he has problem, attend to them. Those who don't have document, most of them on Facebook now doing freedom fighting. All of them, their people have expired. They want to tell you the reason they are there is because they don't have document. Many people are more of that anyway. I will say Yoruba, Yoruba most especially. Watch them. Don't let them deceive you. We do not want to deceive you. Neither are we going to allow you to deceive us. Don't forget our topic is behind the scene. I told the person, I said, I don't look at the bigger picture. I look at the little, 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 little picture. Evidence all around. Because you will never know what you're going to learn from there. There is a reason why anybody will be supporting one Nigeria. Some is in their favor. Others to the detriment out of ignorance. Always find out what is in there for you. So when they come, they say, oh, one Nigeria, one Nigeria, one Nigeria. There are four groups of people that promote one Nigeria. Number one is the foreign invaders. They call them colonial master, but I call them terrorists. The first pioneers of terrorism in the world. They gave themselves colonial master. They call themselves Lord. But they are terrorists. Make no mistake about it. They promote one Nigeria. Oh, our one Nigeria. This is one Nigeria. He said, one Nigeria. Find out. Look behind the scene. You will know why they are shouting one Nigeria. Don't forget our topic is behind the scene. So when you hear British, Britain tell you, with one Nigeria, Nigeria cannot be tempered with the negotiation of the boundary of Nigeria. No, it is honorable and must be preserved. It's a lie. British government want to steal oil on notice. 
They want China to respect them. They want German to respect them. They watch Malaysia to respect them. They want the world to respect them. They want you as a black man to think they are invincible. They want to steal your year. The unity of one Nigeria, where you hear it from the voice of BBC and CNN. If America ever support one Nigeria, any country ever support one Nigeria, watch them. They are protecting their interest. We know them. Run for your life. That is one category of people who say, oh, this is one Nigeria. It's our one Nigeria, our lovable one Nigeria, untempered one Nigeria. When you hear Osiban just saying, IPOB threatening the unity of one Nigeria, and as such will be treated as terrorist, you should know when Yoruba man tell you one Nigeria. What is their target? Your Yoruba pastor will say, oh, Ejeka Badua, let us pray and let us tell our daddy that our one Nigeria, every evil destroying one Nigeria. Oh, 